from the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, parts of West Tennessee in that viewing area. Even Buck Snort, welcome to Pharmacist On Call. I am your host, yours truly, Dr. Sean Pruitt. And if you are watching this program, I am your community pharmacist. Uh, welcome to another show, everyone. I'm excited about what we're getting ready to jump into. I uh, just wanted to uh, welcome everyone from all the viewing parts. This show is about you. It is about your calls, your questions, your comments. Uh, a lot of times you don't get the opportunity to speak with your physicians or your pharmacists because they're busy. They do not have the time. For the purposes of this show, I do. So this show is your forum where you get to call us at uh, 737, that's P-L-U-S 7587. Give us a call. I wanted to start in with some old business from the, the former show. A, a viewer called in and she asked me a question that kind of stumped me. So I had to research it because it really bugged me that I didn't know. Uh, what causes hiccups? So after taking a look at that, uh, I young, uh, hope the lady is watching, uh, there are a number of causes for hiccups, even medicinal. Uh, but m for the most part, uh, from what I researched, it, it comes from the diaphragm muscle and then the hiccuping sound itself comes from when the vocal cords close from the stretching of the diaphragm. So common causes of hiccups, it could be stomach surgery, it could be fear or excitement, uh, it could be acid reflux medications, it could be medications such as benzodiazepines, so that would be drugs like your Valiums, your Xanaxes, uh, drugs in that family. So ma'am, I hope that you're watching and I hope you got an, an answer to, to the question. Uh, so that is what causes hiccups. Again, medications that we use to treat hiccups are gonna be in the antipsychotic family. So an old drug like Thorazine, uh, Chlorpromazine, or Haloperidol, which, uh, whose brand name is Haldol. I wanted to uh, also uh, mention that the store celebrated a two-year anniversary on August the 4th, so that is two plus years that we have been saving patients money and making sure that people had the medications that they need, fewer patients going to the emergency rooms because they had to leave prescriptions. And I wanted to kind of briefly give a history of the, the store and, and kind of how we came to be. Uh, born and raised here in Nashville, Tennessee, graduated from Maplewood Comprehensive High School in 1988, uh, attended Austin P for uh, about four years there and transferred to Tennessee State with a chemistry degree. And in my senior year, I was trying to figure out what to do with this degree. Uh, so I talked to a professor who kind of steered me towards pharmacy, uh, applied and got into the University of Tennessee College of Pharmacy and I graduated from there in 2000. I worked for Walgreens for about a number of 18, about 18 years or so. Took a brief stint and worked with Access Med Plus doing uh, the managed care piece and then went back to Walgreens. Uh, and some of you may remember me from uh, being the night pharmacist at Clarksville Highway in Charlotte Pike. So we kind of had, uh, after some time, an unamicable split, if you will, uh, which led to my departure. And so as I'm trying to figure out my next phase, I'm working other jobs, but I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, what I really want to do. And at that point, I felt that I had the necessary skills to, to make a change, to do something on my own. Because sometimes when you work for someone, you're limited by how much of an effect that you can have or how much you know, vision or how much you can actually accomplish. So I made the decision to open my own store after doing much research and a lot of traveling around trying to find a location. And I wanted to see what shape, what, what theme, what, what would be the mission of this store. And I happened to come across some information done by the Tennessee Safety Net Consortium, uh, which stated that there were roughly uh, 100,000, 80 to 100,000 plus Middle Tennesseans who did not have uh, medical insurance. So this was a large number of people who were having to pay exorbitant prices, uh, not getting their medications discounted. You basically have to pay what the pharmacy charges. Now the issue is, is that sometimes you A, have to choose between that and other things like eating, utilities, what have you. And sometimes the medication is so expensive and needed that you have to leave it there. That's what we call prescription abandonment. So there were a number of people who were continuing to be readmitted to these emergency rooms because they could not afford the medication. So it's fine to go see the doctor, you get a prescription, but that's part of your treatment to get your blood pressure down or to get your diabetes under control. 
Well, it's futile if you can't afford the medication that the doctor has prescribed for you. So our mission was to cut the price of that medication to make it more affordable. So I opened on August the 4th uh, after finally settling in on a location and settling in on a theme and what the shape the pharmacy would take. And uh, we've been doing it since then. So our theme has been, you know, the pharmacy choice for the uninsured, which we are. Uh, but um, the area that I'm in, a lot of people were on Medicaid, were on Ten Care, and so you know, initially I did not take insurance, trying to solely focus on the uninsured. But I also had to take insurance just to take care of the people around me and to be a true community pharmacy. Uh, so we also began uh, taking insurance as well. Uh, we're also getting ready to jump into compounding. So the pharmacy has been there for two years. It has been heavily supported by the community, uh, the Middle Tennessee community, because I have patients who come as far as G. Franklin, Hermitage, Brentwood, Hendersonville, Goodlettsville, Portland. I have a number of people uh, that come. Uh, and the, the second reason that they come is the experience once they get there. They're treated right, they're treated with respect, they're treated with kindness. So a number of the patients who did come initially got the insurance, uh, well, who did not have insurance, got insurance, but we were able to maintain about 80% of those patients and they drive just because of the experience that they receive uh, with the pharmacy. So I wanted to thank those of you who have been a part of the movement, who have supported us, and certainly thank you to those of you who have been viewers of the show. I wanted to talk about a couple of supplements here, which is uh, always uh, a favorite. Well, the first one is not here. I wanted to talk about the Congen Alkaline Water Store that we also do. Uh, in addition to taking care of patients who are uninsured, uh, in addition to saving patients money, in addition, in addition to making sure that we have the best customer service in the Middle Tennessee area, we are also big on alternative medicine and wellness. So while other pharmacies or the physicians will probably call it hooey and all that, I've done my research. I use these products myself, uh, and so I, I can attest to their effect. So we'll talk about these supplements in a second, but I did want to get to the Congan Water Store itself. The water store opened probably, let's say December 2012, about four months I'd been in business at that point. Uh, so the, the focus of the water is to basically be the cheapest medication there is. It's prevention. It is hydrating the body with the best water possible. As many of you know, uh, water is 70, 75% of our bodies. So we want to make sure that it is the best water possible. So the, the water comes through a machine. It's about a $4,000 machine that takes it through about four different processes. Uh, the first process is it filters out all of the chlorine. Uh, second, it filters out all of the fluoride. Uh, so there is no taste, no smell to this water. The third process is it goes over about gee, four or five titanium plates. So the water is electrified and hence teeming with antioxidants, uh, which are your cancer fighters. And then the fourth process is, process is the pH of the water is changed. It is alkalinized, so it goes from a pH of, I would assume tap water is probably six, up to eight, 8.5, 9.5. Well, you say, well, what is, what is the benefit of drinking water you know, with this pH of, of 8.5 to 9.5? Well, the, the, the uses are, are varied and sundry. Any issue dealing with having too much acidity in the body this water will help. So we'll just mention what diseases can be caused by having too much acidity, by eating too much red meat, by drinking too much carbonated, by drinking too many carbonated drinks, by drinking too much citric acid through your orange juice, your pineapple juices, your, your grapefruit juices. You're talking about diabetes, you're talking about cancer, you're talking about all sorts of joint and inflammatory problems, uh, you're talking about uh, acid reflux. Uh, but we're going to take a short break. I want to get to your calls, so feel free to call in, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 